Well, hello. Today I told the Board of Visitors that I wanted to bring my tenure as president of Christopher Newport to a close at the end of this academic year. Over the past eight months, as I've supported and encouraged Rosemary in her recovery, I've been reminded that life is fragile and how precious are the members of our families. In my case, Rosemary, our daughter Mary Catherine and son Paul and their families, Barrett and Britt, and especially our grandchildren, Lachlan and Truett in Camden and Carrington. This is the 26th year that Rosemary and I have served Christopher Newport. In December, I'll be 75 years old. Time is racing by, and I don't want to lose, for the second time in my life, the opportunity to be with the people who I love the most in this world. You see, when Paul and Mary Catherine were growing up, I was a young United States congressman and senator intent on saving the world. I missed so many special moments with them and Rosemary, and I don't want to let that happen again. As you know, Rosemary and I have poured our hearts and minds into this wonderful place, and we have been blessed beyond measure. We've been blessed by our students, the extraordinary young women and men who have graced this campus through the years. We've been blessed by a dedicated and distinguished faculty and are honored to call them colleagues and friends. We've been blessed by a staff that has sprinted from the crack of dawn to late at night, day in and day out, to encourage and support our success. We've been blessed by our alumni our parents, and our many, many friends who have so generously shared their time, talent, and treasure. To all of you, thank you. Thank you for embracing the dream that working together, we could create another great university for America. Together, we have made that audacious dream a reality. Indeed, few schools in America, if any, have come so far so quickly. Together, we built rich and rigorous academic programs, a superb and committed faculty, a magnificent campus, vibrant student life, and students that have brought our beautiful campus alive with their energy, their enthusiasm, and their intellect. Most importantly, we've enriched the minds and stirred the hearts of over 20,000 young people. I shook their hands and gave them their diploma. Rosemary congratulated them with a hug. And together, all of us sent them out in the world with hopes and prayers that they would live lives of meaning and consequence and purpose, a life of significance, and make our world a better place. So I will serve as your president until the end of this academic year. And we have so much to celebrate in this 60th anniversary year. Rosemary and I look forward to every moment of every day that we will be together with you. Please know how much I love this place, how much I cherish each of you, how deeply grateful I am for you giving me the most extraordinary, meaningful moments in my life, and how confident I am that Christopher Newport's best years lie ahead. Go captains, go captains, and thank you.